fun as days is City O'Clock. Time to get going. Cut for them, though. Someone's made me overnight oats for breakfast. I'm not sure I'll be out with all that because I'm so excited. And it's quite a lot. It's, it's sort of like the middle of the night here. Quarter to five in the morning. Quarter to four your time. Off to the airport. Right. Turn right. No, no, it's left. And we're off to the airport. Made it safely to the airport. Um, still haven't quite managed to open my eyes yet. As I've been awake about two and a half hours, but... A few hours later, we're here. Wembley Way. Can we duck down a bit? Yeah, right. uh, oh, it's a video. Oh, shit. It's filling up a bit. See yourself on the screen. Funny how people always laugh and joke when they're on the see so they could be losing, just scored a last minute goal, they see themselves on the screen and start laughing and waving. I mean security's getting younger these days, look. They can only be about 10. This is the balloon that um, goes up at the end or the beginning. We've really got the party going now. There's children everywhere, loads of colour, I would interview some of them but I don't think they'll get more sense of humour, well I don't think anyone does. The future of women's football, we've not, it's all getting very exciting, the crowd's building, we're staying women just practising, just, uh, running and kicking. Take longer as they're practicing uh, getting hurt, I suppose, for later on. I don't know whether I mentioned it's bloody cold today. Look, see over there where I've got it's sunny. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's really cold today. I think it's because I haven't had a lot of sleep. In fact, my eyes still haven't been open from this morning. But if I manage to stay awake, and it's not because of the game that I just I am seriously tired. Um, we're going to do all right here. I don't think I'm, I've just upset the Tom's photographer because apparently I pushed in front of the queue and he, he wasn't in the queue, so I don't know how it worked out now. But uh, anyway, we have words. I, well, I have two words. And um, yeah, so I'm not making any friends today just yet, but hopefully later on, you know, we'll shake hands and make up. Apparently, if Wembley don't own those, it, I think they've got to make a balloon paper. I'll keep going on about how cold it is without pouring the rain. Now, as you know, it's West Ham Women's Cup final. I mean, really, this is my cup final because I can remember taking a photo when there was like two men and a dog watching. And I think the dog was doing something. I don't think the dog was watching. So it was just two people and the dog that was not watching. Anyway. Thinking about it, this rain might work in our favour because I can remember, like back in the 60s, when it used to rain, we used to. It used to be an e um, a leveller, uh, like even playing field or something like that. I was just like to say, I, I know I'm keep going on and just flying all the way from Spain. I can't see anything, it's all lagging in. I can see it on the screen, look. I've come all the way to Spain. Watch it on the telly. I've got to have something out of it. I would never use it on one of my tunes. The miss gone, even Stevens, but believe it or not, Man City are playing a bit hoofball. What? Of course, they're winning a couple of times a couple of times, and they've played long enough with that, and they're fantastically so. Fantastic as that would. And then uh, someone kicked the ball wide, but. Like that, Ed. so it's very near ascendancy. Man City will still be relying on, excuse me, <coughs> Man City will still be relying on uh, Nikita Paris, I think, I don't know, Nikita Paris um, getting the ball and running really fast. Um, that's their only, that's their only um, 
taxi, really. Stanway and Paris. Anyway, it's good. 36 minutes gone, still near on there. West Ham women giving a master class of defending and closing down. Man City still relying on the Paris Stanway double act, but no score. There's the injury we've been waiting for, Kate Longhurst. It's not, you know, we're not taking the mick, it's just that she throws herself in that every challenge is going to happen. And uh, she gets up and carries on like nothing's happened, as usual. Well, if it was a boxing match, I'd give it uh, to West Ham women on points so far. Yeah, about five rounds to two. It's still cold. It's hot enough, five minutes gone. Second half, Kate Longhurst has had an argument with Red and everything. Just when we were looking good, typical West Ham way, get it on the break, a lucky deflection. You know, it was a lucky deflection, took it past Anamore out, I couldn't do anything about it. This is good, so I was too disappointed. It's just when I Kira Wolf's good, but anyway, she's funny. Anyway, do you reckon if I ask nicely, I'd do the roof up and put the heating on? Matthew Beard has made the change just after an hour. He's brought in Brianna Vizzoli for Claire Rafferty, I think. Um, he's going a bit more attacking, so he's got, still got four at the back, but Brianna will be pushed up a bit further, trying to, trying to pull this goal back. But Man City are playing quite well at the moment. Second substitution is the end, Keenan come on for Jane Ross. I'm going for the um, Roadrunner thing, because you're really fast. Really fast. Fantastic save by Anna Moore, that's saying no more, I think. Well, whoever wins this, the only winner is women's football, because I think they said 43,000. Well, no, it might be 53,000, but the only winner is women's football. Twelve minutes left and the phone's went on this deal then, but I don't want to see me. Twelve minutes left, still one nil city. We've got to start throwing the old kitchen sink. Oh, no. Just trickled in the corner, but that was it. Two nil. Same old city. Just tried and dice his bicycle kick with more like 25 in the car driver. Still two. Now three minutes left. Still two nil, and I'm still calm. Morning is going to miss the hand. Three nil. Hit and hoped, and it went into an empty net. So, two minutes left. Three nil. I don't know if you the but fantastic. And Rosie Tomita has just come on. Fantastic. I'm really pleased for that. Really, really pleased for that. We played even more for it. We were winning for it, but how did it all? Hey, women! Just, just over the bar. Just over the bar. Just over the bar. You know, I don't run it in now. I think they should say, oh, fair enough, we won. But, you know, I don't take that easy. But it's been a great game. Great advert for the uh, women's game. And a great game. I don't know if you can see that from here, but they're all. Oh, I can't see it from here either. I don't know what's going on. City <laughs> fans celebrate. I'm wearing my best stand out. Where are those buttons? Oh, I've got. This is the moment when uh, City get the cup. That's all you're short of, isn't it? What the hell is that?
in keeping with the bad audio of the stadium, I've decided to uh, record the summing up for continuity purposes next to a noisy outboard motor. And as I said that, he turned it off, and the sun's gone in, and I'm in the shade. Hang on. For continuity purposes, I've decided to record the um, summing up on a, a noisy boat. Anyway, the uh, it was very cold. I don't know if I mentioned it. It was very cold at the stadium and wet. Um, back in Spain now. Um, you can see that. That's Spain. I think that's Africa over there, but you can't see it. Oh, that's got really good eyesight or a telescope. Anyway, in keeping with uh, con oh, I said continuity. Anyway, it's fantastic, fantastic occasion. Uh, brilliant that they re reached the final. It, maybe it was a step too far to beat Manchester City, who haven't been beaten for like um, 400 years or something. But it's something that no one will ever be able to take away from them. Um, a historic occasion. Can't wait for Saturday to the last game of the season. I hope they get a good reception from the fans. I was a big crowd there, and uh, we finish off with a, a flourish against Brighton. 2,500 mile round trip planes, trains, automobiles. Well, no trains actually, but automobiles, planes. It was my cup final as well, and I mentioned this, but to, to go from taking blurry photos, well, that was worse than blurry, to actually sitting in the press room at Wembley Stadium and actually taking photos at Wembley Stadium was, it was my cup final, it was fantastic. And it was probably the pinnacle of my um, non-career. Um, Matthew Beard said he's probably his greatest achievement, and I think it was. To, to, to get to that stage with a team that's been together for less than a year, and um, all joking aside, they are a really lovely bunch of people. Re and it's, I know mean, the word family is bounded about like, a bit too easily, but the joy that comes out of that group of people, you can feel it, you know? And um, yeah, just like to say that, that's brilliant. I'm, a, I'm always looking at the downside of stuff, so down things for me was that I, I probably had jet lag by the time the match started. Um, and also, you, where I was sitting, every time something exciting happened, I had a BBC ha handicam man standing right in front of me. So, my, actually, as a photo journal expedition, if that's what it was, it wasn't very successful. I probably got about 10 photos that were any good. Um, in my eyes, probably two photos that are any good in anybody else's eyes. Next season's going to be a bit hard to surpass this one but if we can all stay fit keep this group of players together who knows what could happen I'm excited to see Tessel playing you know she's she looks like a good character as well on the sidelines so I've seen her juggle the ball a bit and you can't tell you know how good a player is by juggling the ball I mean I've seen a seal juggle the ball but thank you to Matthew Beard and Mitch Wodgen for Wodgen? Stop!